Yeah, I mean, let's just drink the whole thing, right? F*** it. That's what you guys want to see. The freak. The freak drinking disgusting things so you guys will like him. Do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. Okay. So, I'm going to go with the big boy first. I'm going to go. So, thick it. So thick, dude. It sounds like thick. It sounds like like it would be like a like a '90s kids toy. H2O beverages are thickened with sand and gum. Ew! Disgusting! Gross! For more information on the Thicket brand family of products, call our customer care center at 1-800-333-0003 or visit our websites, thicket.com or precisionfoods.com. Oh, yeah! You know, like, Thicket. Thicket, you know. Oh, oh, ooh, I'm so, I'm terribly sorry. It's 46 fluid ounces, this right here. Earlier I said 48, but it's 46. So they thicken it. It's, um, it's made with pure artisan mineral water, so it's got those minerals. But it's thickened water for people with dysphagia. So it's a condition which a person's ability to eat and drink is disrupted. Very common. More than 3 million cases per year in the U.S., some neurological cases of dysphagia include a stroke, neurological conditions that cause damage to the brain and nervous system over time, including Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, dementia, and then brain tumors. So you basically have trouble swallowing and this aids in that. And like I said, I, I have this water, I have two different kinds of coffee, I have tea, I have orange juice. It's due to prime related issues, I couldn't get the apple juice and the cranberry juice. Also, it's not my period, so who cares? But you guys know the reference from The Departed. What is it, your period? Like, that's the joke I was making. What are you drinking? <clears throat> A cranberry juice. What is it, your period? Whatever. You guys have a terrible taste in movies. Anyway. <clears throat> this is... Ooh, it looks like if you've ever worked with epoxy, this is what it, the consistency is like. Like when, obviously when it's, you know. It's even like, if you know what epoxy is like, if, you know, as you're drizzling it toward the top, it ha it's like it's, you can see where it's kind of been stacked. Now it smells like water, which means it doesn't really smell like anything. Initial taste. It doesn't taste good, but it doesn't taste like nasty. Like it tastes like there's chalk in this water, which again, it's not good. And that gets multiplied when you actually put a lot of it in your mouth. It, it tastes very chalky and it has a consistency of pudding. If pudding was like tasteless, borderline nasty. That's sick, dude. Okay. Drinking a lot of this is getting pretty gross. It's kind of disgusting. But I think it sucks that people have to drink this because they can't. Mmm. Dude, it tastes so thick. Yeah, I mean, let's just drink the whole thing, right? Fuck it. That's what you guys want to see. The freak. The freak drinking disgusting things, so you guys will like him. What's well, it? Cheers. Dude, it's so chalky. It is kind of sour. Like, not sour, but it's making me do that. 
it's like it's okay so it's not sour but it's like there's like just enough lemon juice because now I'm, it's tasting a little lemony like chalk and lemon so if somebody put just enough lemon juice to make that pucker that, mm. well we're gonna do the whole thing get up get up come on get down with it the thickness Get up, come on, get down with the thickness. Get up, come on, get down with the thickness. Mmm. But thicket giving you the clear advantage. Thickened water made with pure artisan mineral water. Ready to drink? <laughs> okay, check this out. It says flavorless. Do you like shit that tastes good? Do you like shit that's flavorful? Well, this is flavor category less, but it still has, it's disgusting. Mm. Seriously, chalk, chalk and lemon juice is what it tastes like. It's not flavor less, it just has less flavor. You know, less flavor from things that have good flavors. Like I, okay, like I finished it, and then everything that was just glooped to the side, it's still like it glooped back down to a whole drink. The rest should fit. That's what she said. Better than that. Actually, yeah, corn syrup is kind of what it looks like. Horns. Why do I not have a rim shot sound effect? Because I'm picking, like I said, corn syrup, and I can picture him like, <clears throat> yeah, more like porn syrup. There's just an egregious amount of over-exaggerated reactions and people need to stop that shit. This is terrible. It's so bad, but it's like, can we, can we stop acting like this is the worst thing in the world? Like, people have to drink this and it's kind of shitty because whatever they're putting in this, it, it's not flavorless. Thicket, clear advantage, thickened orange juice. It's mildly thick, like nectar. But you guys might be thinking, what does it smell like? What does, does it have a smell? Does it smell like orange juice? I'll get to that. Ooh, that smells really good, actually. This tastes like orange juice. I kind of wish I would have saved this one for last because I know the coffee and the tea are going to be just dog shit disgusting. This tastes really good. I don't really care for orange juice really because it's not real juice from orange like it is, but think of it this way. You're buying orange juice in the winter. Do you really think that that's freshly picked? No, they, they harvest it all one time of the year and they keep it in vats. And then they add color to it because it becomes like this clear white looking shit. Like it's, that's, and this is even worse, but I'm just saying, I don't really care for orange juice because nothing that you buy is like, I just, I don't know, just eat an orange, you fucking idiot. But this tastes, what orange juice tastes like. I get very Alex Jones about my orange juice, so. All beverages, really. You know what? There's people here. Why don't we just do all of it? USA. 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 Thicket. Clear advantage. Decaffeinated thickened tea. Now, I did want caffeinated, but it's one of the varieties that they did not have prime. Mmm. Dude, this smells gross.
You guys are over here being all gross. Hold on, this stuff, not gonna make you shit your pants. Oxy, it's always about doo-doo and pee-pee stuff with you, dude. So it smells nasty. It smells very, 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 very nasty. Imagine if, ooh. Imagine if they made Hershey's chocolate syrup. They made it, it's all colored, and then they had to add the chocolate flavor last. This tastes like that without them have, having adding it. Well, it, I mean, it. I could have just made the comparison to tea because it does smell and taste like tea. It's Imagine if this was like tea from concentrate. It's very strong. This is so gross. Or, here, here you go. Here's, this is exactly what it tastes like. You got, so you got some iced tea, right? And like, somebody takes like a, like a quarter cup of uh, like vinegar and just dumps it right in. Mm, one of those, that's what it tastes like. It smells and tastes like there's vinegar in here. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna not drink the last two though, right? I mean, I've come this far. I feel like Tom Cruise in cocktail. Now these are caffeinated, thank God. Okay, so this one is coffee, thickened. Mildly thick, like nectar. This one, thickened. We can you read it? It says moderately thick honey okay so it says that I should have saved the orange juice for last mix a sip of these I mean I don't know what that would do it just it'll make the thicker one less thick okay well okay so I'm gonna describe this and you're gonna be like yeah that's what coffee tastes like dipshit but no open up a thing of Folgers and you smell it that's what this smells like and you're saying like coffee no it smells like that's coffee grounds that's not what a cup of coffee smells like a cup of, cup of coffee smells like a version of that so like I said these are uh, these are caffeinated so Okay, these two, I'm going to just kind of rapid fire them. Just glug, glug, glug. This is so sour. Ugh. It tastes just like you're eating coffee grounds. It's so gross. Ooh, there's some remnants of the orange juice. Mm, mm. This tastes like um, holiday and breakfast. That's what it tastes like in my mouth right now. I can still taste a little bit of everything because it's just coated in there. Even thicker. Gravy. I like it when my coffee has a thicker, thicker gravy type of consistency. I feel like if they put like, because the other one says like, it says it's thick as nectar, and this one's like it's thick, it's honey. I feel like initially they'd be like, well, why don't we just compare it to gravy? And they'd be like, because it's fucking nasty enough already without putting the thought of gravy in their head. Oh, Jesus. It smells, it smells worse, too, than the other one. That's way too thick for coffee. Imagine like dunking a donut in here, it's like, no. <laughs> I want it to just be over. I was prepared to drink all of it, but the way it looked, the, the blob of that it is, when I tilted the glass, it kind of like stuck to the bottom and then went whoosh, like it all came at me like it was a sentient being attacking me. And it made me laugh slash gross me out, so I couldn't commit to the whole thing. But I'm almost done. 
so sad, dude. Mm. That's enough of that. But that's, I don't know. That's that. Do I recommend them? I mean, I don't know. You literally have to be... You literally have to have a medical condition that would make you need to drink these. So no, I don't recommend them if you don't. Why would you want to? I, it sucks that some people have to. I don't know. I suppose you get I suppose you get used to it, actually. I could see you kind of getting used to it. But that's... That's my review. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, you know, that whole thing. I'm not going to ask you to turn on notifications because I feel like that's greedy when people do that. They're like, like and subscribe, and you're like, okay, and then like, and be sure to smash the bell icon so you can get, and it's like, hey, dude, whoa, what's that about? Chill out. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, if you want, just don't, you don't, have to, you don't have to do the notification bell. Like I said, that's kind of ridiculous when people expect you to click, click, click. Like, don't do that shit, dude. Anyone who asks you to hit the notification bell, just... Well, they're clearly scamming you. They're, tr they're trying to scam you out of your time. It just gives you one thing to do later when you're sick and tired of getting all the notifications and then going to turn this shit off. It just gives you one extra thing to do on top of the thing they're asking you to do. So just don't do it. Like and subscribe and get the fuck out.